everyone. It is great to meet you uh, virtually. My name is Seth Familian, and I am a solutions architect for a company called Segment. And um, what I'm going to tell you about today is a little bit about how Segment enables anyone who's running any sort of um, cloud-based application, whether it's a website, a set of apps, et cetera, to generate really reliable data and then to daisy chain the way that data flows to downstream tools, whether those are analytics tools or uh, marketing automation tools or even unified dashboarding tools, so you can have a complete actionable picture of your audience. Um, now, the logo at the top left of the screen is not Segment, it's Familion in One. And the reason why is because before I joined Segment about three months ago, I was running my own marketing strategy consultancy and data strategy consultancy called Familion in One. And my work in this consultancy, especially over the past four years, was actually dedicated to doing data automation strategy, working with platforms like Segment. And I started giving this presentation a couple of years ago as I realized this notion of daisy chaining cloud tools was something that a lot of startups and larger companies could actually use to their advantage and should know more about. So that's why the logo is familiar and one at the top. It represents not just my, cons my old consultancy, but also the bridge that I used to end up working full-time at Segment as well. Before I start, let me give you a little bit of background on me. Um, so I have a strong, I'm a man of many hats. That's why there are many hats in the top right-hand corner of this slide. Um, I have a background in strategy, especially corporate strategy. So I was working at Apple back in 2006 and Bertelsmann Media Worldwide 2007, doing very high level corporate strategy, big models, et cetera, understanding the way monetization would work in the age of digital and media. Um, I then, as I started my own consulting work, became a growth hacker, which means I use data in order to inform marketing strategy and marketing tactics. I did this first for a platform called Cloud9, which was acquired by Amazon Web Services, it's sort of like Google Docs for the coding world. I then did it for a company called Glip, which is a Slack-like messaging platform. And most recently, before I joined Segment, I was doing this exact same kind of work for Cisco and their thought leadership team. In growth hacking, I really came to appreciate the kind of work that I'm going to tell you about today, which is how you interconnect tools to really become a, an effective digital marketer and a data-driven marketer. I'm a data visualization nerd as well. So I don't just like hacking data and understanding how to grow companies, but visualizing and analyzing the data that comes out of it. Whether it's coming out with innovative ways to uh, visualize stacked bar charts, creating a visual framework for analyzing your love life called Data Reader, or visualizing large lists of, um, of items in a platform called Mactivate. I'm an educator. It's actually what sort of fuels a lot of my outside interest. I've actually taught this particular workshop about four previous times, and I've taught at General Assembly and taught about 50 different workshops across four different topics, including visual design with data, working with big data, and digital tools for business. Um, and for those of you that are interested, I'm working on taking that coursework and putting it online in a self-paced environment for people to learn from down the road. So if that's of interest to you, let me know. And finally, I am a creative procrastinator, which means whenever I deal with a really annoying analytical problem and I'm just banging my head against the wall and I can't quite figure out an answer, I stop and I do something creative. Whether it's build a book of photographs and learn how to bind books or hack apart an Ikea bookcase and turn it into a bedside table or build a dumb website that tells you next bus style when the next rapture is going to arrive based on the Wikipedia listed events of all of the apocalyptic predictions for the future, called Next Rapture. Um, all of these projects, although they seem really silly, are designed to free up the critical thinking side of my brain while I engage the creative side. And that actually enables me to step back from a really tricky problem, digest it in the background, and then revisit it with fresh eyes and having completed something fun and quirky and different. So, um, you know, throughout all this, and as you see analytical insights that are being offered up in this presentation, as you think about, well, how did he get there? I'm trying to do that, but I can't. Maybe the answer is to stop and do something creative and free your mind up a little bit. My consultancy uh, before I joined Segment was really focused on measuring and automating growth strategies. So I did it for a ton of different brands and that's really what growth hacking was all about. But the way I measured and automated growth strategy was by interconnecting world-class cloud platforms, this notion of daisy chaining. 
And so Segment was just one of a number of different platforms that I interconnected. We're actually going to explore a number of these platforms today as well. And what you'll see is that by interconnecting these existing cloud tools, you can, as a solopreneur or a very small team or as a consultant, achieve the kind of reliable infrastructure at scale that once used to take 100 people inside of a DevOps team to maintain. The other reason why I like interconnecting these world-class platforms is because I'm effectively partnering with a series of individual dev teams, one team per platform. And so by interconnecting the data flow between these different platforms, I'm effectively riding the development curves of each of those teams independently so the entire infrastructure improves over time as those individual teams continue to improve the platform, release new features, et cetera. So it's a, it's a very different approach for how you would get at a data analytics infrastructure and let it scale with a very small group of people. For today, I wanna to talk about how I use those platforms to create this notion of daisy chaining cloud tools. And just to give you a high level overview of what that means. So it starts with raw data, right? So it starts with whatever the data source is that you've generated on your website, whether it's a web desktop app that you view on your laptop or a desktop computer, whether it's a web app on your web browser for your mobile phone or your iPad, whether it's a native Android or a native iOS app, whether it's something on a lean back device like a smart TV. The idea is that you have all this data that's flowing from all of those different sources. And the trick to this entire process is first to centralize the extraction of that data in one place. In this case, I'm using Segment. That's why I now work at Segment because I kept finding that this was the easiest way to actually aggregate all of my data collection together into one place. And the reason why I want to bring it into one place is because that makes it much easier for me to do a couple things with the data. Number one, to enrich it. So once I identify an email address associated with my website, a new user who signed up with my app, I can use a service like Clearbit to enrich the email address associated with that new user and return back to Segment a, a very robust set of publicly available uh, pieces of context on that user. The company they work for, the industry they're in, their Twitter handle, their Facebook follow, uh, their Twitter followers, their Facebook handle, et cetera. I can then pipe that enriched data downstream to a number of different sources simultaneously. An analytics platform like Mixpanel, uh, Amplitude's another one, a marketing automation platform like Intercom, there are many others, Drift is another one. And I can then take, not just understand who my audience is and automate mar uh, marketing messaging towards them, I can then roll that data up that's generated by those platforms into a unified dashboard that tells me everything that's happening with my audience and how it's growing thanks to the marketing efforts that I'm doing. So this is the notion of daisy chaining. And what I'd like to do in the next couple of minutes is explore each piece of this flow and help you understand why each of these tools is really useful in, their, in and of themselves and together. 